All right, so I am going to show you what Brisk can do in terms of giving grading feedback. Now, it has lots of different functionality, and this is just sort of a basic pass-through. So um, there's other things it can do. This is not exhaustive, but I'm going to give you an idea of how we might be able to use it. So this is a paper. Um, this is actually one of my son's papers from a class he took last summer, um, an Arabic 319 class about... Arabian Nights. So I guess this assignment asked um, to to look at the role and character of Scheherazade in the frame story of Arabian Nights. So um, analyze, uh, I guess, her role. I don't really know what it was, but let's take a look at um, some feedback that Chris can give for us. So what you're going to do is after you've installed the Chrome extension for Brisk, you're going to have this little B down here in the corner and it's going to be floating when you have the extension activated. So you can turn it off for sure, but if you are you know, working and you want to have it on, you can also leave it on. Um, so you're going to click on the B and it's going to give you several different options. So um, for our purposes right now, we're going to look at giving feedback. So let's say this was my class and I had assigned this essay. I read it maybe nothing came to mind or I had some ideas or I wanted like an outline of where to start with feedback, I could click on give feedback. So I can give targeted feedback and I can align this to a rubric. So if this assignment had a rubric, I could connect it with the rubric and it would give feedback and link it back to the rubric. So when you have the rubrics that give specific points for different things, it will actually help you score and suggest a score. Um, Mind-blowing, right? Probably the one that we would use the most would be Glow and Grow, which is going to give some positive feedback, some suggestions for improvement, and then some perhaps questions or wonderings that you might have things to address, right? Um, so let's click on that one for our purposes. And if we wanted to align it to specific standards, we could do that. If we wanted to upload the rubric, we could do that. Fourth grade, no, let's go 12th grade. Let's say we're grading an English paper in 12th grade. We would then click on brisket, not the barbecue, but this brisket, and see what will magically happen. It says feedback will appear here soon. So it's pretty fast. Um, in my experience. Wow, so look at that. It even pulled his name. Oh my goodness. So Will, your essay demonstrates a deep engagement with the character of Scheherazade and her role in Arabian Nights. You've effectively used a variety of sources to support your analysis, shows a commendable level of research, your writing style is fluid, and your argument, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this is a great place to start, right? So any conversations that I've had with a student, uh, maybe in a DBA or in a live lesson or in, you know, phone calls with them, I could refer back here because obviously our goal is to have personalized feedback and this is not personalized in the way that we want, right? So we would connect it back to specific experiences, conversations we've had. We can add all that in, but this is an amazing place to start, right? It also gives you some areas to grow. While your essay is rich in content, it could benefit from a clear organizational structure. Consider introducing your main points in the introduction. So this is actually stylistic feedback. Um, and then it gets into substantive feedback here, where it says, additionally, you've included a variety of sources. Remember consistency, academic tone, colloquial expressions, <laughs> such as brings the story full circle, which may detract from the scholarly nature of your work. And then wonderings. So here's where um, you leave your students a little food for thought, or perhaps this could be used as an editing tool, right, for a rough draft. As you delve into Scheherazade's character, I'm curious how you perceive the balance between her self-preservation and altruistic motives. Holy moly, this thing is smart. Um, do you believe her actions are primarily driven by a desire to save herself, or is there a larger, more selfless goal at play? So this freaking computer has actually read the 900 pages of Arabian Night, or it feels like they have. Um, so what you can do is you can either copy this feedback and paste it somewhere, or if you're working in the document that the student submitted, you can insert the feedback at the top, right? So... It organizes it in a table like this. Now you can 
change the functions. You can change the features. You don't have to do glow, grow, and wondering. But this is one of the different things that you can do. Um, other things you can do is change the level of your feedback. Um, so if you're an elementary teacher, you can change it right to first grade. You also can um, create. And this is um, probably where we would use this in terms of with um, live lessons.